What's up guys, in this video, really quickly, I want to go through Gods Unchained, which is a new trading card game built on the Ethereum blockchain, and it really goes to highlight the benefits of having games on the Ethereum blockchain or in the crypto space altogether. So Gods Unchained is very tightly based on the game Hearthstone. If you haven't played it like me, you can check out the subreddits, you can check out YouTube, and you can see why it is so popular. I mean, 118,000 subscribers for the Hearthstone subreddit compared to cryptocurrency. Like, it's even more than the cryptocurrency subreddit, which is 713,000. So the market is there. The game, you know, this Hearthstone is a very successful game made by Blizzard Entertainment. And Gods and Chain are aiming to be a similar type of thing. You can see the artwork is very similar. The game is similar. Um, the concept of how to play the game is similar. But what Gods Unchained are doing is that I'm bringing this onto the blockchain. What you can do is purchase different decks or card packs, which look like this. And each pack has five cards within it. So getting a rare pack will give you a minimum of one rare card. Getting an epic pack will get you a minimum of one epic. And so on and so forth for the other two. Now, um, you, there are about uh, 380 cards you can buy, you can get all together or to be discovered all together. I have 215 of them because I've opened a ton of packs, 490 total cards of that 215. I've discovered 215 different cards of the 380. So, my card pack, which I'll go through a little bit later. But Gods Unchained, like I said, you can get a bunch of different packs. The fun thing about collecting these cards is the fact that you can get different types of cards, right? Just like Pokemon cards, Dragon Ball Z cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or any other card collecting um, company out there. You can Different different packs have different percentages of unlocking different cards. So common is denoted by these gems being non-colored, rare, they're blue, epic, purple or pink, whatever you see legendary they're gold and on top of that you have different shines so you can get just a normal one the the um, shadow card of which five percent of the whole um, cards are they are they look like this you can get gold you can get diamond now diamond is extremely rare very difficult to get these but basically I've got a bunch of cards in my inventory and I can kind of quickly go through just to show you guys what it looks like so you can check out the whole card set at any given time to figure out how much of each card has been unlocked. So you can see for this card, which is the first in the whole set, 2,542 cards in the common type have been unlocked. 122 shadow cards, 28 gold cards, and only one diamond card. In this one, only six diamond cards. In this one, only three diamond cards have been unlocked. So golds are very, very rare if you can get a whole set of golds like you'll have an amazing asset to really hold on to if you can get them in gold which i think no one is going to be able to do just because it's so hard to get these golds uh sorry these diamonds now the interesting thing is that as more card packs are unlocked obviously this increases but by the end of the whole ico stage which is hard capped at 15 million dollars once that is reached this genesis set of 380 there will never be more of these cards released once the game starts. Yes, there'll be different sets, but never of the Genesis set. So this will be set at what it is. Like once, you know, 10,000 of these have been found or whatever has been found, $15 million hard cap has been reached or at the end of the year, they're going to close off the ICO stage. That's the max of these cards that will ever be in circulation. So once the marketplace opens, you can trade these cards with anyone that you want so if you have a diamond of a legendary card which you can see that closer to let's go to page 10 uh, so this legendary card there's zero diamonds unlocked yet so if you have even one or two of these then you've got the only card in the whole genesis set so if you're the holder of say one so for example this one has one diamond right so if you have this one diamond card of this and they don't release any of these cards again or, or this set then you have the only card of that type in all of gods unchained so if you want to put it for sale and someone else wants to collect it the only person they have to buy it from is you so it's really interesting from an investor's perspective there's so much scarcity in this and the cool thing about it being being built on the blockchain is at any given time you can verify the quantities of this in circulation which is what they've done over here really really cool 
Now, another interesting thing to keep in mind is that Goz and Chain are backed by some really strong investors and partners. So, for example, Coinbase, everyone knows the name. Coinbase are backing Fuel Games to build Gods Unchained have received a $2.4 million investment by all of these um, capital and investor firms to build the game. There's going to be a tournament at the start of next year that everyone can compete in. Or not everyone actually. There's about 20,000 tournament tickets in circulation. If you have one, then you can enter the tournament and you can you can battle to win $288,000, which it currently is set at 10% of all sales goes towards this prize pool. And they're aiming to raise $1.6 million that you can battle for. Now, there's going to be more cards released. Like I said, a world-class game experience. It's very similar to Hearthstone. A bunch of, um, this is your total uh, kind of health. If, you, if that goes down to zero, you lose the game. So it's kind of who gets the other opponent down to zero to win the game. That's what everyone's going to battle it out for. Um... There's also, like I said, there's there's legendary, rare, epic, legendary, and there's another kind of class called mythic. And there's only about four of these in circulation for the um, Genesis set. One was auctioned off, and the final bid was 146 ether, which is a lot of money. It's about 60,000 US dollars, 50 to 60,000 US dollars. There's still three to be found in the pack, so there's still people hunting for them. And if you have one of these, then you have a really iconic card. Um, what else can I go through? Just generally, Gods Unchained have done really well. The community is big. If you go to the Discord chats, then you can find like a ton of activity going on. There's a lot of people making YouTube videos like me, streaming, um, people making card reveals. There's so much activity going on about this game. It's very early in its phase. And I think you'll do really well if you buy a bunch of cards, at least of the Genesis set. Again, if we go to the, I'll put the link for this below where you can buy the cards. But if you if you buy a rare pack, it's only about four to five dollars, and Epic packs about um, seven times five, it's about thirty to forty dollars to buy these. But you can buy a bunch of rare packs. So one Ether will probably get you about ninety of these packs, which is what ninety times five. Ah, it's about 360 cards, right? So you can get a bunch of rare cards, uh, rare packs, and there's opportunity opportunity to even find the mythics within these rare packs, or even legendaries, or even shiny legendaries. People have found those cards before. So don't think that you have to only buy the top tier decks. You can even buy these ones. Anyway, it's a quick review on Gods Unchained. I think it's going to be a really popular game if it reaches its initial funding, but it seems like the company is very capable of building a good gaming experience, just looking at Etherbots and the success of Etherbots. And very excited to see how it goes.